now discuss our Pythagorean identities. And in order to do that, we're going to start with our Pythagorean theorem. Dividing through by c squared everywhere then gives us a over c squared plus b over c squared is equal to one. And if I pick an angle in my triangle, we can see that a over c is cosine and b over c is sine. So this gives us our first of three Pythagorean identities. If we were to divide this through by cosine squared, cosine squared over cosine squared is one, sine over cosine is tangent, and one over cosine is secant. That's our second identity. For the third, we can divide the original equation through by sine. Cosine over sine is cotangent, so we have cotangent squared. Sine squared over sine squared is one, and one over sine is cosecant, so we have cosecant squared theta. And these are our three Pythagorean identities. We'll now try to find the exact value of these. First, we must realize that sine over cosine is the same thing as tangent. So I now have tangent of 46 minus tangent of 46, which is zero. For the second one, we want to reduce this fraction and one over secant is cosine, so this is cosine squared of pi over five. And my Pythagorean identities said that cosine squared plus sine squared is always equal to one. We'll now talk about complementary angles and how they're related. So complementary angles are angles that add up to be 90 degrees. And so we wanna know how trig functions of complementary angles are related. When we're dealing with complementary angles, co-functions of these complementary angles, not functions, co-functions of complementary angles are always going to be equal. Essentially what we said is these six identities here. Sine of 90 degrees minus theta is the same thing as cosine. Cosine of 90 degrees minus theta is the same thing as sine. This also works for tangent and cotangent and secant and cosecant. In addition, you can replace any of these 90 degrees with pi over two if we're discussing radians. We'll discuss how to use that here. So if I wanna relate sine to cosine, I need to do 90 minus 47, which would give me 43 degrees. When dealing with radians, I need to change to pi over two. So pi over two minus pi over six would be two pi over six, which is also pi over three. To go from cosine to sine, 90 minus 59 is 31 degrees. And then cosecant of pi over four, once again, this time we want to do pi over two minus pi over four, and we would get pi over four. We now want to try to find the exact value of each of these. Well, for the first one, we can relate cosecant to secant by doing 90 minus 23 to get 67. So this would just be equal to zero. Here, once again, we need the angles to be the same. So we'll convert the cosine to sine by doing 90 minus eight, which is 82. And then sine of 82 over sine of 82 is one.